Hi, thanks for tuning in. Um, this is your general reading for Thursday. Oh goodness, what is it going to be, the 10th already? Wow. So I apologize that I missed yesterday. Tuesday, the energy was wonky, like all over the place here in the United States because of the election. I was exhausted, like when energies get really dense and there's like a lot of fear and anxiety. Um, it just wears me out for no reason. Even if I sleep, you know, excuse me, 15 hours is just totally fucked. So I couldn't do the video. <laughs> Sorry. But here we are today. And it's interesting the cards that I pulled because what I pulled was Ten of Swords to start. So feeling defeated. A lot of us. A lot of us feeling hopeless. Oh my gosh, this is the same thing as the fucking Taurus video where my empath side, my clear um, sentience is kicking in really hard and I want to cry. I've been okay all day. <laughs> but ooh, there's a lot of fear out there, especially if you are a um, Muslim or you're a woman or you're black or you're Asian if you're anything that's not a white male Christian. So, um, sorry, I don't want to cry because <laughs> your cards are actually positive. But um, that's kind of how we're starting, okay? A lot of Facebook fighting, a lot of people doing a lot of stuff. So a lot of us having a hard time coping and um, really engaging with other people. And, you know, we have all this fear. So anyway, point is, that's maybe how we're starting Thursday, okay? But, 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 but. This is a time of change. This is a time to learn. This is a time to reframe our thoughts. This is a time to show by example um, what love is, how to accept other people, um, how to be kind to others, and teach by example, okay? Now this card here, Ace of Wands, is a new adventure. It's um, starting a new way, you know? It's just saying, I'm not going to further engage in these Facebook fights about, you know, my candidate versus theirs and political ideas and ideas about the world and what's right and wrong and immoral. This is saying, I'm just going to do my own thing and I'm going to be blessed as I do it. Okay? <laughs> so trying a new way. So um, this Wands card has more buds on it than any other Wands card in the deck. Okay? This is saying whatever new thing that you're going to try starting today is going to um, benefit you so, so much, okay? Um, now, the other card that I pulled is Abundance. So this just affirms it. This one says, I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into physical reality. So this could be an abundance of money. You know, maybe you're starting a new business. Um, this could be an abundance of love. Maybe you're starting a new relationship that is creative and it's fun and it's full of laughter. Maybe you're just changing your mindsets and now you're going to have an abundance of positivity and blessings just flowing into your life. Um, it could be anything, okay? So however it clicks for you is where I want you to go with it. Now our card of the day, Lavender. We have been all up in the purples for like a week now at least and the purple is related to our third eye chakra and that's really important because the purple is about our connection to God okay to spirit to the universe to Allah and what it's saying is um, we need to just pray right now we need to pray hard we need to pray for ourselves we need to pray for others um, because you know what actually it's gonna make you feel better Okay, because God, Allah, Jesus, whomever you believe in, like as the divine source, is our source of everything, right? Everything. Um, so, with this one, it says connect mind, body, and soul together. So a really good way to use the lavender energy would be, for example, if you could get your hands on some lavender um, or some lavender incense, burn it in your home. You can use this the way we always do with that like light ray shining over you. Or you could um, maybe burn some incense and do some yoga is going to make you feel better. A lot of us are physically feeling, especially those of you who are empaths that are watching this really spiritual people are, and... Um, 
you know, these kind of energies floating around the world with the fear and the hatred and the resentment and all of that really weigh down on you. And they can actually make your muscles hurt, can make your body achy and cracky. And so um, to do some physical activity is going to be good for you. So um, a good way to use this lavender. Now I'm going to look up your daily affirmation for this. And I already know some of you are just going to hit dislike on this video because of, um, you know, what I said about politics. But I'm telling you, no matter where you are um, on this, like whether your candidate won or they lost, it's not the point. Uh, there's just so much negativity right now. Like everybody's fighting with each other. Um, and even if you're trying to avoid it, like you kind of can't. Today when I went to go get my daughter from school, um, it was just like total silence. <laughs> Nobody wanted to talk to anybody. And there were a few people like wearing like hats or t-shirts, like supporting one or the other. And it was just like so uncomfortable. Nobody wanted to talk to those people. Like it was tough stuff. Okay, so Lavender, um, Divine Spirit, strengthen my connection to my own divinity and allow me to see the divinity in others. Thank you. So this is the perfect card to come out today where it's like, okay, you know what? We disagree, but I'm going to go on a new adventure of love and light, and I am going to teach by example, and I'm just going to show everybody love no matter what. Like, I don't have to agree with them. I'm just going to say, you know what? I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I care about all people. And that's what's needed right now, right? Like, especially with all of the fear. I don't think you guys can see it right now, but there's a little angel orb flying around in here. I don't know if it'll show up in the video or not, but it was just, it started right here and it kind of went, Ooh. so if you see it, cool. <laughs> anyway, um, but that's what's needed right now is we just all need to look out for each other. We all need to love each other and, um, show each other that way. So I'm sorry it got a little bit political, but um, that's the big message here. And if you look back a couple days, like if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, anything like that, there was a post about, you know, let's just pray that everything works out for the, um, as far as the election goes, like for the alignment with our highest good. Okay. And um, we still need to be that way. We still just need to trust that everything happens for a reason and, um, you know, use every opportunity that we're disappointed with or hurt by or even every disappoint or every um, time that we feel elation and overjoyed to use that as a moment to connect to other people. We need to be thinking about the collective oneness and how to show each other love and respect and enjoy even when we disagree, okay? So, sorry, this is kind of like a heavy, heavy read, but you know, even if you're feeling this way right now, you just gotta pick yourself up and do this, okay? Love and light, Mwah. see you tomorrow.